All right, 315. If you missed the start of the show, you prefer Red Wings to what we're doing now? We did. We opened up with the Red Wings. They're a hell of a lot of fun. You can go listen to that. I'm asking Michigan fans, another report today. Uh, Stallion sure seems like a real piece of work. But you brought him into your house, and now they're making connections. Yeah, he absolutely is claiming he was close with staff, that he wasn't some nameless, faceless computer nerd. Just tell me what you want the school to do. Because there's two schools of thought. It's really about you guys. I have no idea what penalties will happen. I I don't know enough yet. I know enough that you did dirt. But what level and how much further does it go? We're all learning. Anyone who says, well, this is what should happen, I I can't do that yet. And I've never said anything other than you have a really good football team. But it sure looks like you did some dirt. And it's going to be the Big Ten with a new commissioner who might want to make his mark. It's the NCAA who hates your coach. And it's the college football playoff committee. All three get a say in this. So how do you want the school to handle it? Now, if you fight, you might win. But if you don't, you could lose big. If you don't fight, you might get less, but you have to admit guilt. And that's something your school's never been good at. So how do you want to play it? It's your team, right. and it's a national title drive, and I just would love to hear it. Yeah, or if you fight, yeah, it's going to look bad. You're going to lose in the court of public opinion. and People are going to question you, and they're going to always say that this is tainted, but you may end up pulling a Kansas basketball, and in the end, you get away with it. That's why I'm asking them. Yeah. I have no idea. Let's go to the people. Go to Rod, 97.1. What's up, Rod? What's up, Mike? What's up, Rico? Hey, Rob. First time, first time on caller. Man, long time listener. Long time. Thanks. So I just wanted to say, man, I've heard you now for many, many years. And you know, one of your favorite things, Mike, has always been, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. It's crazy to me now that it's all flipped around. No, it's not. But No, it's not. Because I don't play pretend yeah. like you clowns. I don't pretend oh, that I'm the only team not cheating. Oh, no, I'm willing to get in the dirt. I'd hire Satan. But I'm honest. You don't get in the dirt, Mike. You kind of sweep it under the rug. What are you That's talking you about? Rod, I'm willing to get into the dirt. I'm Mike, willing to cheat to win. You guys talk about Michigan, but nobody wants to mention anything about the fact that Roshan Gary's mom admitted that she got paid 300000 to convince her son to come to Ohio State instead of Michigan, and he turned it down. You guys didn't mention nothing about that. Oh, you, be- oh, you believe he was there for free. Okay. Well, okay, then if he's not there for free, then isn't that what most of these guys are doing? The point I'm making, Rod, 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 I'm going to try this one more time. Ready? This is going off the rails. Your school pretends that you're cleaner than a preacher's sheet. You look down on everybody else. I'm telling you, I don't play pretend. Nobody said we're clean, Mike. Nothing in sports is clean. Your entire identity is based on being clean. Your head coach is out here lecturing people that it's tough to beat the cheaters. It was in John U. Bacon's book. Your head coach is out here saying openly, what a web we weave when we look to deceive. You pretend. Oh, okay, Mike. Okay, Mike. Let's pretend like every priest out here is clean, right? Look, man. Rod, are you, are, day, Rod, are you feeling all right? Because I'm trying to have no, a conversation here. Let me uh, be. Man, by the way, 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 by the way. You fell right into the trap. You couldn't answer my question. Oh, I know. No, no, no. I willingly, I personally intended to call and make sure that I answered the way I answered because I know that. Because you can't answer my question. Rod, what what, what would you do? What would I do? I'd fight. Because you know what? You ain't got no proof. You got nothing against me. No, there's actually quite a lot of proof, and the NCAA is going to get it. Uh, shortly, but what are you hey. gonna do? What are you gonna do? You're gonna take away Michigan's ranking? I, I have no if idea, Rod. If not three quarters loves Michigan, you're gonna go against America. Rod, I, I don't you know. think you're smart enough to listen to this show. Wait, 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 have wait, a great wait. day. No, he's gone. I'm done. I'm not gonna talk to people with an IQ of under fifty. I can't do it. We That's had, ridiculous. We had another drop. Uh, no, 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 we don't. First going of against all, America? Going against America? Yeah, going against America. I'm like, I'm not you talking to you anymore. You go against Michigan, you go against America. This guy's got the IQ of a pine tree. I can't do this. I asked you to answer a question. Then he goes, well, you've said it. Yes, for my program, which does not have a leg to stand on, which does not play a role of a fake moral authority, 
which well, I my program doesn't sit here going, oh, everybody else is cheating except us. Wah. I've implored my school, if they're cheating, be better at it. You don't get to play that card. Then we ask you the question, what do you want to do? Well, you've got nothing. Are you living in an effing bubble with what's coming out about your program? No, because America loves Michigan. Mike, Rico, what are you talking about? This goes beyond the NCAA. We're going against the world. (laughs) This is America. America loves Michigan. I just, that was unbelievable. That was absolutely incredible. And that's how we start? Me against the world! All I asked is, what do you want your school to do? Oh, you flipped it all around. I didn't flip nothing. It's It's not my school. This is your school. You're the ones with a head coach who openly mocks cheaters, yet it seems like he's one of the bigger ones. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Yeah, you lost him when you hit him with that. You didn't even give him the bow quote, but yeah. Well, he wouldn't understand it because I don't know if he can read. She said, Mike, you, you take anybody. And he's like, well, now you're flip-flopping. Well, I just said I'd, I'd hire Satan. You can't really get any lower than that. I've never pretended otherwise. That's we'll go right. to Mitch because it can't be worse. Hi, Mitch. Let me just apologize on behalf of Michigan fans for that. I don't <laughs> know okay. what that guy was talking about. <laughs> Neither that do we, brother. Then, Mitch, you're apologizing against America. Yeah, you don't like America, Mitch. And let, let me be uh, – there was a third bad hire in there with Matt Weiss. Let me add that in there. As a sure. Michigan fan, I can admit that. So That's good call. let me start with there. Um, I would love for Ward Manuel to be fired. I absolutely can't stand that guy. So as a Michigan fan, if that came out of this, that's a positive that I'll take from a negative situation. So let me ask you a question. Well, let's do a fun scenario. Let's say yep. you Let's say you come to a deal, and in order to stay eligible to play – you got to sacrifice Ward, which you want, but Harbaugh's gone. Would you do it? Harbaugh has to be gone, and if you like for good. Yep. Mm. I know. I know. It's a difficult question. I'm just. It's a, it's, it's a. It's a tough one because I think Ward being gone is a huge positive, and I think he actually holds back Michigan sports across the board, not just football, but as well as basketball and baseball. So, as a complete fan. I would say probably, yeah. Mitch, let let me help you with this. Upon further review, Ward is gone, but Harbaugh cannot coach until game four of next year. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. But can I ask one question here? Yeah. So the bylaws state that in-person scouting is illegal, correct? Yes. If Connor Stallions himself wasn't there, is that a gray area? I say no, no, because you were you, bene- so? you were benefiting by the people he was spending money on. Now, here's the other thing. And Mitch, part of the reason I haven't gone crazy on this, like whose money was being spent, uh, you know, That's was was, was well, Connor right? Stallion spending his own and bankrupting himself? Was he being bankrolled? That would make a difference. I don't have the answer. But Mitch, the bottom line is he was setting up a scouting network taking that data and your program was benefiting from it. So in the end, we arrive at the same place where it gets worse is, and I don't know that this has happened, but man, if he was like turning in the expense report and getting paid for this crap, that would be a major problem. If that's the case, Mitch. My my biggest thing is is my number one red flag would be some type of donor is the one providing that money. That's what I think. Personally, Uh, that would be, that would be a that would be a big problem. That's that's just my opinion on that. Again, well, I don't and here, and here, know. Here's the thing. Look, I mean, it's not hard to look at this, and I understand the next angle, not you, Mitch, but other people are gonna take. They're gonna tell me this guy is related to the Rockefellers and has generational wealth. The point I'm making is, Kenny, if you don't take that balloon down, I will come back there and pop it. <laughs> the point I'm making is this guy's on a fifty two thousand dollar a year salary. And you are paying for hotels, you are paying for tickets, you are paying for travel. For multiple people. For Not people. just one. For multiple people. Where's that money coming you from? You had people who were going to sit on both sides of Ohio State and Penn State. Sure. That just, you know what, guys, here's the world I live in. The world of more likely than not. 
It is very hard for me to believe that he would finance this out of the kindness of his own heart, never expensing it, and never being reimbursed. Hard to believe. Not impossible, hard to believe. Because the scope of this is now getting to a point where you're sending people to games all over America. He had tickets to the last two SEC title games in 21 and 22. Do you know what those cost? To get tickets in the seats he would need to effectively get the material he needs? Not 50 bucks. No, and I'm just making the point that at the end of the year, if the government's taking their share and you're left with X amount, well, you got a life you got to live here now unless he's, you know, couch surfing. You can't be dropping 15 grand a year. Up, oh, David's telling us we're number one. We'll get to more of your phone calls next.